How do you differentiate a good team from a dominant one? Is it by a win total or a run differential? The answer isn't easy, but for Florida State softball, core values of family, smart, aggressive, competitive, and committed attitudes have helped foster a culture of dominance. It's one pitch at a time, and I know that's such a cliche saying and really be in the moment and all those things, but we say those for a reason because they are what breeds success. And if you can live those values every day and do those things, then when you start to step back and look at the big picture of it, you've done a pretty good job of being successful. In her 10th season with the program, head coach Lonnie Alameda, or Cocha as the team calls her, has put up an impressive record in the ACC. Coming into the spring of 2018, she held a record of 161 wins to 39 losses against ACC opponents. She has coached five consecutive conference championship teams since 2012 and mentored several high achieving student athletes. She does a good job of making sure you're ready for life when you leave this program. So I think it's pretty cool that you have a coaching staff that not only cares about you on the field and how you succeed on the field, but also how you succeed off the field. Even with a young roster comprised of 12 underclassmen, the leadership and talent from the veterans has helped Team 35 become a cohesive force to be reckoned with. Previous players when I was younger have just come up to me and asked me for help or if I need anything just go to them and ask them questions. So I've done the same for the younger girls. We have a good enough relationship that um, I can kind of understand what they're going through and try to give my personal experience of what I've learned and what kind of adversity I've gone through during this in season or off season. When your upperclassmen put your arms around those freshmen say, hey, I've been there before, it's okay. You know, we're a team, we're a family, we'll get through this, you're gonna grow. And they see that growth and they buy into that growth and they get excited about the growth. Then you've really got something special brewing. Of course, talented coaches and players can take you a long way in the competition, but for Team 35, no one can take you farther than family. I mean, I think my favorite core values, family, it's kind of understanding each other's personalities and kind of how we tick and how we kind of bring the best out of each other in stressful situations, but I would definitely say that family's been the most important thing in this program. It's really fam family oriented here, not only with the coaches and the girls on the team, but behind the scenes, the support staff we have in academics and just in, in athletics in general. Let's define what Florida State softball family is and how we, we work for each other and help each other and do not judge, love one another, go through the ups and downs together. So that's probably the biggest thing to get our kids comfortable. But if you don't have the fam family part down and the trust, then you can't build on the rest of them. The Florida State softball family has accomplished so much in such a short period of time. But life's journey is long, and so much more road lies ahead. We really try to embrace the gate, um, you know, give your all to the team every day. That's our mindset when you come through the gate. Before practice, you know, you may have a chemistry exam that really did not do well for you, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters right now is, is your team. There's going to be failures. We signed up to play the game of softball, and it's a game of failure. So I think um, just learning upon your failures to make you a better person and a better player along the way because without failures you're not going to succeed. As they continue their long journey through the regular season and go deep into the postseason, their teamwork, leadership, and core values will be their gateway to success as they have been all season long. I'm Chris Camacho for Seminole Sports Magazine.